To begin the disassembly of your Motorola Droid 2, you will first need to remove the back door cover as well as battery if you have not already done so. Next, you will need to remove the SIM card tray as well as micro SD card from your phone. Next, using a safe open pry tool or spudger, go ahead and remove the cover on the back of your phone, shielding your camera lens. Once again, using your safe open pry tool, you will now release a small plastic adhesive mesh grill on the bottom of the phone. It is held in with adhesive, so you will need to pry on it to remove it. Next, using a Torx 5 screwdriver, you will need to remove the following six screws as shown here. Next, using a safe open pry tool or spudger, you will need to go around the back housing, releasing the clips holding the back housing in place. Next, you will need to remove the speaker housing assembly from the back of your phone. Sometimes it does come off with the housing assembly. However, if it has not come off with the housing assembly, you will need to remove it. Next, you will need to unclip one flex cable on the bottom of your phone, as well as two antenna wire flex cables on the right side of your phone. Once those are detached, there is one additional flex cable on the top left, shown under a black piece of tape that will also need to be unclipped. Next, you will need to go ahead and remove three Torx 5 screws on the back motherboard of your phone. Once these three screws have been removed, you can gently lift your motherboard up. Do not pull on it as there still is one flex cable held underneath that will need to be released before you can completely detach your motherboard from the phone. With the motherboard now removed, you will need to go ahead and remove the sticker showing your serial number from the phone. This is held in with adhesive, so you will need to carefully pull it up and pry it from the housing. Next, you will need to go ahead and remove 
10 Torx 5 screws which hold your keyboard in place. Next, you will need to release one flex cable under the keyboard housing. This flex cable is, is held in with a jawbone connector, so you will need to release the jawbone connector first to pull out the flex cable. Once you are able to release this flex cable, you can now go ahead and separate your digitizer glass housing from your LCD and keyboard assembly. To separate your digitizer from the housing assembly, just use a heat gun, loosening up the adhesive holding the glass screen in place. Once adequate heat has been applied, use a safe open pry tool to run it along the sides of the screen in the housing and you will be able to separate it as shown right here.